guys, welcome back to your Lake Fort Guide. I'm here with my boy Z-Dub at the offices of 22 Kill. And listen, if there's anything that we must do in this life, we must stop veteran suicide. We've also got a fishing tournament coming up in July where we're going to try to do everything we can to help stop veteran suicide. Today we're going to talk to the folks at 22 Kill and find out just exactly how we're going to do that. We're here in the office at 22 Kill in Dallas, Texas, and as you guys know, we have a big event coming up later this summer where we're going to have a fishing tournament. And we all love fishing. Everybody that's watching this channel is all about fishing. We love fishing. But I wanted to come here today because this fishing tournament is going to be about so much more than fishing. And when I started my social media platforms, I always wanted to host some type of fishing tournament someday to gather the community that we built and go have a good time together. But I always knew if I did it, it was going to be a military-oriented nonprofit organization. And me and my business partners looked through a lot of organizations, and the one we settled on was 22 Kills. So today, I'm here with Mr. Blake and Jake. Shake and bake, Blake and Jake, however you want to do it. We're here in the office at 22 Kill, and I want to let these guys kind of tell you what this organization is about, because guys, I can tell you, I looked through as many of them as I could, and being a veteran myself, this was the one I settled on, because I feel like this is the one that helps where it's needed the most and they do the best job of it. I'm very, very proud and honored. Thank you Thanks very for much for letting us work with you guys. Yeah. Um, but if y'all could just kind of tell us what 22 Kill is and what we're trying to raise money, where this money's going that we're going to raise through this tournament. Okay. Yeah, Blake, why don't you kick it off uh, specifically talking about Forge, which is one of our non-traditional therapy programs. Right. So we developed back in the day to just bring awareness around the suicidal kind of epidemic that was happening. It yeah. was heavy, right? But later, once we gained a lot of traction, we started really thinking about how we're going to make an impact in the community. So we developed into a full-fledged mental health organization providing counseling services for veterans, first responders, and frontline medical workers and their families. However, not everybody's into just going ahead and saying, hey, I'd like to talk to somebody about my stuff. Right? It's part of our culture, right? <laughs> right. It's not it, for, the, for those that don't know, United States Marine Corps. Yeah. United States Marine Corps. Right. United States Marine Corps, right? So there's enough of us to take over Dallas. That's right, 100 percent And it's very much ingrained in our right. culture and in our training that you kind of suck it up and deal with it and you you deal with the pain or whatever you're going through, physical or mental, to take care of your brothers. Right. You don't feel the pain yourself, you just move on, you keep stepping, right? Like that's what we're built to do. The problem is when you get outside and you're in the real world, sometimes it's not transition applicable. Yeah. It doesn't apply anymore because you're not in the same world. Right. So with that, that's why we have non-traditional type therapy. So the Forge program uh, is our non-traditional program that is everything outdoors. Hiking, camping, fishing, helicopter, hog hunts, aerial gunnery, things like that. Mm -hmm. Because people get connected and I mean just around a bonfire or conversations in a boat or in a deer blind. I mean, it just happens every year, all day, every day. But that stuff, those experiences and engagements are, are what's healing to us, you know, and that might get somebody open to the fact that mental health could be an answer or a solution because it hasn't been in our culture leading up to that, right? So being on the water at the butt crack of dawn, I mean, it's, it's an incredible feeling to sit there and just look at the world, yeah. wake up for the first time. Yeah. I get chill bumps thinking about it Absolutely. right now, Absolutely. you know. So we want to make sure that these guys and uh, individuals that have run towards a fight their whole life really have an access point to where they can experience these types of things. So we want to get them a venue to do that. So by teaming up with you, by teaming up with all of our staff and volunteers to try to make something like this happen, this is where the metal hits the meat essentially. It Absolutely. gets them in the door. It gives them a venue to experience a true healing experience in a sense. And that's something that we really want to kind of drive home is because most people heal in different ways. We have a very, very diverse activity base based on the diverse population we serve and it's by design. So by fishing and being on the water, I mean, you're learning skills that you can pass down generations to generations and it gives you pride. It gives you joy to see that next generation teaching the next generation what you've taught them so i'm uh, very thankful for these types of tournaments and events because i think some people just might need to be reached in this type of way absolutely so absolutely and on top of that we're gonna 
it's not just to get veterans out there involved in this tournament. This is an open tournament for everybody, and we are the end goal of this deal. It, we are trying to raise money right. because you guys are a not-for-profit organization. You're a non-profit organization, so you need funds to operate everything. I mean, to put. I mean, you right. guys do counseling. I mean, talk talk about what some of the services you guys provide to all the veterans and first responders. Roger that. So we have uh, several programs that offer a lot of different services. Uh, that reach a certain population because there are certain things that people will gravitate towards. So one of the things is uh, our evidence-based program, um, Stay the Course, where we do the clinical work, where we do individual uh, counseling, we do group counseling, we do all ages from adolescent to the elderly. Um, we serve these individuals uh, in several different ways to really bring them to a solution-focused kind of experience in a sense. So. Um, we have art therapy, we have a lot of different types of therapy that, to really give them the tools to be successful and help them transition. Because it's okay not to be okay, but in there is where the hard work happens. So um, then we have the watch program, which is We Are the Children of Heroes. It really kind of connects that whole community around those individuals that have lost loved ones due to either suicide or inaction, right? Mm -hmm. So their providers, their protectors, all of these individuals that have children need direction and structure and uh, another kind of venue to express themselves openly without ridicule. Um, we also have the wind therapy program, which is an outstanding program if you like anything motorcycles. Right. It's right. legit. I'm smelling leather right now thinking about it. <laughs> so with that being said, if there's an individual that loves to ride or is interested in riding, we have a program just for that, the wind therapy program, where we have a uh, school that you could go to to get trained and licensed through Harley-Davidson. We also go to a lot of bike weeks all over the country to really get that community involvement. Um, and build that connection and welcome people into the tribe. It, it's an incredible experience. And then you have a lot of people that I know, like for me, getting out of the Marine Corps, I wasn't great with finances. We have a lot of great <laughs> relationships with financial institutions to I mean, get out. I'm not great with them right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you with your credit and stuff like that, get you kind of some good deals, some good deal uh, on some. And you know, you're talking to fishermen, right? Yeah, for sure. Like, nobody that bass fishes is good with finances. Oh, yeah, for sure. All blow money like for crazy. sure. Yeah. For sure. I've seen the rig. I'll be rolling yeah. Um, But yeah, so we have some of that stuff. And then, um, like I said, each one of these individual entities serves a different purpose to a certain population. Just like you're just trying to reach out to yeah, everybody any way you can. I mean, you guys are really, you've gone really wide, I would say, in your outreach yeah. program here. And, and, you know, fill me in where I'm wrong here. But this, this whole deal started out as... 22 kill was, you know, the, the statistic came out, what year was it, Blake? 2012. 2012, the statistic came out that 22 veterans a day were taking their own life. And that's way more than are dying in combat. 100%. 100%. We've all three been combat deployed. That's a problem. You know, do you know guys that have missed this out? 32. 32. You know guys that have been? Absolutely. We all three have people that we know and care about in our lives, that were our brothers, that went over and fought the fight and then got home and lost it. Yeah. And that is uh, something that we need to stop. And we're not going to stop. I'm not going to stop working with y'all. Y'all aren't going to stop. Y'all's doing it. Y'all, until it's done. Until no veterans are committing suicide, we're not stopping. Right. You know, and we really need to get on this fight because me being a combat veteran, United States Marine, I feel like the most important aspect of veterans health, yeah, sure, we need VA medical assistance. Yes, sure, we need education programs for vets. We need all that stuff. But all that stuff doesn't do any good if we're killing ourselves. Right. And it is the most drastic. I don't know one guy that comes home and doesn't have some type of mental health anguish and issues. Right. Not one. I've never known one. They may deal with it. They may deal with it on their own. But they all have some issues. Myself included. Blake, I'm sure. Jake, I'm sure y'all feel the same way. Yeah. We all have stuff we have to process through. Well, there's a reason I'm a recovering alcoholic addict. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, that that's the thing is that we, we've done a really good job at orbiting outside of our comfort zone. Because the only way you're going to grow individually, collectively, is by finding victory in your vulnerability, refusing to be a hostage to your pride, leaning in and loving hard. That's the only way. There is no other way. You know, and then the fact that we're about, we're approaching this Memorial Day, which I think should we should it, our, our brothers and sisters should at least get a month. I just think a day <laughs> for the ultimate yeah. sacrifice yeah. is, um, you know, I disagree <laughs> with you. 
And so for us, it's like, listen, I know speaking for me that, and I had a rough day at work in Iraq in 04, you know, that it ruined my whole day. But I'm upright and breathing. Right. You know, I put a lot of great men and women who are far better than I'll ever be Absolutely. in the ground. Absolutely. And for whatever reason, I'm still drawing breath. And I know this, is that I will never be able to repay this country what it's given me. But I will die trying. That's right. And, and that is the only guarantee that I can make. And so being able to surround myself with people better than me, by default, I'm better. And that's a daily process. We all have to lean in and love hard in order to live well. Because that's the only way we're going to honor our brothers and sisters. There's no plaque. There's no piece of paper. There's no medal. You have to live well. That's it. That's the only way we're truly honoring those who can't do it themselves. Well, when we sign, when we all sign up, we sign up to protect the way of life that this country has afforded us. That's yeah. what we all sign up to protect. And if you're not living well, then you're not taking advantage of the way of life this country affords you. This country has opportunity. Now, you got to go out and get it, and yes, it's hard. But this country gives you more opportunity than any other. We've been to other places on our planet. <laughs> I don't care what anybody wants to say in modern media or whatever. It ain't bad here. No. Like, this is the best place to live on earth, no doubt about it. Not. And we go and we sign up and we all wanted to serve this country and we're willing to sacrifice our own comfort and our own well being at times to protect that. Yeah. And so, once you're done, if you're not taking advantage of that and living well, as you so, so well say, Jay, then you really are not honoring the brothers and sisters that didn't make it. That's it. Right. And it's that's how you honor that. you got to take advantage of what this country affords and what we all wanted to protect. And what they paid the ultimate price to protect. That's, that's a fact. And, if, and just like you alluded to, man, look, the, I had demons before, long before I put on a Marine Corps uniform. You know, those just got exacerbated during high-stress situations. And that's on me. It's on me. And I know it's ingrained in us. Like, look, if it's neck down, free game. Like, you got a broken leg, we'll address that. If it's in between your ears, neck up. Keep that to yourself. We don't talk about yeah. those things because yeah. we're gladiators, and that's a sign of weakness. Yeah. No, no. We, we were told wrong. Right. The strong thing to do is to ask for help. 100%. Yeah, I learned a long time ago. I'm not going to be able to fight this fight alone. You know, I'm not as tough as I thought I was. I mean, that, it's just that we are herd animals as human beings. We, we need each other. Yeah. You know, and the beautiful thing about this country is you can have your beliefs and I can have mine, and even if they're differing beliefs, we can still like each other. That's right. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. Contrary to what you see these days, that yeah. is true. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't have to be this unbelievable division. You know, there's a reason that specifically in the Marine Corps we're undefeated. There's a reason. And no one I know that I fall next to, like there's a lot of numbers I could call right now that oh, yeah. would drop what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. And come to, like right now. Yeah, there's some numbers that ring my phone right now. This interview's over. Yeah, right. And, and, you know, and, and that's we're all the, that way. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> we have to lean in, and that's one of the reasons this whole mission was started was is because we need a tip of the spear. Because as kids, you know, we always we all wanted to be in the military or be a first responder or a law enforcement officer or a nurse or a doctor. Well, if we can be the tip of the spear to change the narrative on mental and emotional wellness, not only here in this country, but around the world, because this is an issue all over the world. Yeah. There's nothing special about our pain and suffering here, mm -hmm. individually or otherwise, because there's no Richter scale on trauma and tragedy. Right. It can't be measured. That's just a fact. Right. And so if we can utilize this group collectively together and say, hey, listen, you know what? It's okay to not be okay. We're going to change that perspective. We're going to change the stigma when it comes to asking for help. We, what we're doing has the ability to change the world. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have time to think small. That's right. You know, and I'm still upright and breathing. I like it. I want to change the world. That's right. Because when my sons stand over my grave, I want them to look at each other and go, bro, we got a lot of work to do. I don't want to leave anything easy. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, that's uh, well said and a, uh, a very good reminder to me of why I'm so proud to be a United States Marine. Yeah, man. And because <laughs> of uh, 
mentalities in men like yourself, Jake, with that mentality, I mean, that's, that's incredible, man. That's awesome. That's well, well said, and we should all aspire to that. We should all aspire to that. Bottom line, I mean, all of us can attest to this. I want to associate myself and be around people that are good at everything that I'm not. Yeah. And be okay with not being okay and asking for help. Yeah. But at the same time, to reach a bigger population and a larger impact, you got to have a bigger damn rock. Yeah. So yeah. y'all are our rock. Let's and we're doing tournaments and stuff like this, like we were talking about earlier, we can't do this alone. Right. Absolutely. So. Speaking of that, because it's all kind of one tribe, right? Yes, it is. So, Jake, y'all got kind of a little bit of a change coming up. It's been 22 kill. That started with the statistic of 22 veterans a day. Mm-hmm. started with the 22 push-up challenge, all yeah. that and stuff. But we're, we're, we're kind of evolving over here at 22 kill. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, and you know, it's um, it's just time. I mean, we have to. We've What we're going to do is we're going to actually be rolling out the name One Trap Foundation starting in the middle of the month, next month. And the reason behind that is we've just done everything we could do with the name 22 Kill, and we've outgrown that moniker. You know, we serve so much outside the realm of veteran and, and military. Well, originally when I heard of 22 Kill, because of the veteran suicide statistic, I think yeah. the branding of it originally was associated with veteran suicide prevention 100%. and veteran mm-hmm. mental health awareness. 100%. And it's evolved into much more. Right, and so here's my thing. You know, I fought, I fought the board for years about the name change, and they would ask me because you know, the business guys don't like the name 22 Kill. Let's be real, right? Yeah, no, they they're don't. not going to like 22 like, Kill as a as a brand name. Right, right. they're business guys, and I didn't care. But we're Marines, so we're like that's an awesome <laughs> name because care. we say Kill to everything. Like that's yeah. just a normal response. For know. those that don't know, I'll be like, Hey, Jake, go knock out that head, man. Clean that head for me. Kill. Kill is just a response. Like, yeah. that's what we say. And so, for me, it was like, right. I got told by so many people, like, hey, you're never going to be able to do anything with the name. That's just too strong of a name. It's offensive. I heard that a lot. And I'm like, okay, well, hold my salad and watch this. Like, right, that's right. <laughs> because that's our mentality. It's like, okay, tell me I can't do it. Okay, yeah. It's happening. All you're doing is feeding my ego. Right. And so, for years, I would tell the board at the end of every board, meeting, Jake, where are we on the name? It's not changing. Any other questions? That's just, Next. that's just the way, <laughs> the way I was for a long time because it was a pride and ego thing yeah. because for me, you know, I'm remembering hugging these widows and these children Absolutely. at these funerals and all I can say is I promise I will try harder. We will do more. Right. That's all I can tell them. What else can you tell them? Yeah, that's, <laughs> and so yeah. I finally got a call about an officer in the DFW Metroplex that died by suicide while he was working his beat on the phone with his wife. And he didn't come to us and he knew about us, but he didn't come to us because he's not a vet. Not realizing that we serve first responders and law enforcement officers already. And I got this phone call and I was like, this father and this husband died by suicide on the phone with his wife. And I was like, it's time. I need, it's pride and ego aside, it's time to evolve. We have to evolve with the mental and emotional wellness arena. If we're going to continue to do what we say we do and do it to the best of our ability and help as many as we can, well outside Texas, well out, all over the world, it's time to evolve. And that's why we're going to evolve into One Trap Foundation, meaning the human trap. Yes. 22 Kill is not going anywhere. It'll fall under the One Trap Foundation umbrella as the, mental, uh, as the uh, awareness and the education piece. Because that's our roots. We can't get rid of our roots either. Right. You know, that's what got us where we are. And we've done everything we can do with that. And so it's time for us to evolve, go to the next level, bigger, stronger, faster. Because what's that, what that's going to result in is helping a hell of a lot more souls. Because you have organizations out there that will go clear roadways and stuff during a natural disaster to kind of restore order in that city. And I think that that's great. But we're doing the same thing with the human soul. Uh-huh. And I don't have to ask anybody who's listening, what do you think is more challenging? <laughs> I don't have to ask. Because, again, we all have our stuff. Whether you want to talk about it or not, it's a whole different thing. But we're dealing with the human soul on a daily basis. And this is a 24-7 gig. This is not a 9-to-5 thing. Right. That's right. This is an all-day, everyday thing. And this job is not for the faint of heart. Mm-hmm. Because... One thing that I, I get inspiration from as the CEO of this entity 
is that I get to watch guys like Blake and all of our other employees welcome anyone who walks in these doors with open arms and love them all the way, no matter what, knowing you're going to lose some of them. And they love mm -hmm. them all the way anyway. That's a prime example, prime example of what courage looks like. Yeah. That's how we change the world. One human at a time. Yeah. And that's my thing is it's like, well, it's just like when people say, well, equate it to an analogy. And I'm like, okay, well, let's say climbing a mountain, right? Because everybody wants to see the view on top. That's the goal. You want to see the view on top. You get up there and you're like, man, it's beautiful up here. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> we knew that. You knew it's going to be beautiful up there. Tell me about the climb. That's mm -hmm. where you learned all your lessons. Tell me about that. And that is why it's like, okay, we have to do it together. And, and then you find yourself at the top of the mountain, you're alone, and you're like, man, I want to share this with somebody. Right. So get back down, grab a hand, go back up. Yeah. And that's what we're doing over and over and right. over and over with every one of these people we serve, regardless of how old, regardless of background, regardless of race, color, creed, religion, socioeconomic status. Because the one common denominator that every one of us has in common is that we have experienced trauma and tragedy throughout our life. Yeah, absolutely. That puts everybody in the same equal arena. Regardless of what corner of the globe you're from, how you grew up, race, color, creed, religion, how much money you're worth, it's irrelevant. Trauma and tragedy doesn't care. Nope. You're going to get affected. So if we could all lean in on that common ground, imagine how much better this world would be. Because as Marines, and I'll speak for the three of us, I'm a third generation combat marine. We pray for peace and train for war. That's right. There's nothing sexy right. about war or no. combat. No. 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 Nothing. No. And so for us to come <laughs> in and do what we're doing now. We all know guys in the wrinkle, right? Yeah. The boots. You get the new boots in, they're yeah. like all hyped up. And they want to go to combat. And then the guys that have been are like, you're an idiot. Yep. Fire watch. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it's a, it's, and it's normal, right? Yeah. Because we get trained so much and ingrained mm -hmm. so much. <laughs> that this is your purpose. This yeah, is right. this, this is, is what your you're purpose. To, do. to close with and destroy the enemy. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And yeah. Mission yeah. accomplishment yeah. at all costs to include troop welfare. Yeah. Right. And so for us now, it's like, listen, and that's what I tell the tribe. I'm like, look, you and your family's well-being comes first. Mm -hmm. This is not the military. Everything else we do is secondary to you and your family's well-being. You have to practice self-care. The self better you are with you, the better you're going to be at your job. And we are in the human soul business. True. So that's mandatory. Yeah, self-care is mandatory. Everybody's got to practice it. And so that's why we have been a force to be reckoned with and will only continue to be more so because we're doing right things, right reasons. The rest will take care of itself. Yeah, that's one of my personal ones, right things, right reasons. Man, it is. Such a great organization, as you guys hopefully after this video can tell um, why I take so much pride in working with this organization and why we work so hard to put on an event that's uh, fun for all of you. I mean, this is, our event is a celebration of the Year Lake Fort God community, the Fish Life community. Uh, that's what it's there for. It's there to gather all of us, let us have a big party based around fishing. But listen, while we do it, we want to take care of those that are doing such an important mission over here at 22 Kill or One Tribe Foundation as it will soon be known. Um, hopefully you guys have a grasp on what I feel in the sense of pride working with them now and why it's so important. So if you want to get involved, we're going to have links where you can go register. You can pre-register for the tournament. There's also on our pre-registration page, there will be links where you can go directly to 22 Kill to make donations anytime you choose. Uh, one more thing I want to touch on before we wrap this up, guys. Honor rings. Blake, tell us about the honor ring. Oh, man, that's one of my favorite things, um, honestly. So it doesn't have a start, doesn't have an end, and it's just what we have to do as humans to take care of each other. It never stops, right? So this is an honor ring that symbolizes that silent salute for all those men and women that have given up everything for our rights and freedoms. And this is a conversational piece. Every time you see yeah. someone wearing this, People you can ask spark up that conversation. Yeah, I've been wearing mine for a year since yeah. the tournament last year, and I get asked about it nonstop. And we go back to our roots. We wear it on our trigger finger because of that awareness of suicide, awareness, and prevention. So it's a constant reminder why the hell we get up every day and right. put in the work, right? So, and um, you don't have to be a veteran to wear it. No, nope. you don't have to be no. a first responder, LEO. Here's 
Because when I see someone with it on and they see me with it on and I'm somewhere in an airport, it's like, it's just the nod. Like, hey, I got your back and I know you got mine. Right. That's right. That's, That's it. That's great. That's great. Well, guys, like I said, man, thank you all so much for doing this with us. Thank, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to do the video and the event and everything. Uh, we're going to have some great items for auction at this deal. So we're going to have a tournament. We're going to have an auction afterwards where you can buy all kinds of items, all the proceeds. The tournament will be a 30% donation to 22 kill 70 percent will get paid back to the field the auction items will go 100 percent right here to 22 kill as well as our your lake four guide invitational tournament where you can buy your partner amongst a bunch of guides myself i'll be in it several other fishing guides other friends of mine guys that you guys have seen on the content on the channel and some other guys are just really good local fishermen are going to get involved and you can purchase your partner and all of those proceeds everybody involved in that has donated their day to fish that tournament for free and uh, every, all the money from that 100% is going straight to 22 kill as well. So lots of ways to get involved, lots of ways to participate. And uh, we, we appreciate you guys watching this video so much. And Jake, Blake, it's been an absolute honor. Thank you for My sitting on me bro. today. Honors all ours, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Hey, we appreciate you guys watching as always. We'll see you next time right here on your Lake Fort Guide.